please. Welcome to Priestess. I hope y'all are doing lovely. Feeling amazing. This is a uh, <laughs> reading for November 2021. And yeah, we'll see what the divine has. We'll have and then go on and live it in real life. Okay. All right. Let's see what comes out. Okay. First card out is for the first week. Align your life. What is not aligned or needs to change? Second card, second week, uh, rest, retreat, be held, deep replenishment, okay. Star seed, what lights you up? Third week. And last week, break the chain. Ancestral patterns, healing, rewriting the future. Okay. Overall is where you're being called to journey to. Okay. I'm not really getting... I mean, I'm getting a little love. Okay. Okay. A little bit. I'm getting a little story. So maybe with the line of your life, Somebody is trying to align with you or something, possibly. I mean, you Pisces or Pisces, a lot of Pisces has been up and through these other readings. Y'all are the last one. And so you've been in a lot of these readings, I'm just saying. Um, so it could be about love. Somebody is trying to align with you because in other readings, it's been like that. The Pisces has or somebody with Pisces placements is trying to be in align with, alignment with somebody. So, maybe like a, a Cancer or somebody with Scorpio in their chart, possibly Aquarius. Look, I'm just bringing it all out. Ooh, this might come out, I don't know. We'll see, but that's what I'm getting. It could be love, alignment with love, second week, Deep replenishment, rest, retreat, be held, you know, like they want to second week, like they want to be held with you. Well, justice at the beginning. Okay. Justice at the beginning, first card out. So, uh, yeah. They want to align with you and give you justice or get you justice. Or give and get you justice, something like that. The tower fell, okay? So, yeah, cause a tower to get this justice to align you to where you need to be first week. Three of Pentacles, because this could be related to your... How you make your money, your career, things like that. And then the devil also fell. So, uh, yeah. I mean, these are two Capricorn cards. The devil and the three of pentacles. So either you can have Capricorn in your chart or somebody with Capricorn has been trying to stop something related to your career, how you make money, things like that. And so you're causing a tower because you're getting justice, because you're aligning your life in the first week, something like that. Okay, week two, seven of cups. Uh, 
Yeah, somebody want to come give you options or show you show you a different side to them that you have not seen before. Something like that. Week two. Could be the same person. Um, four of Cups. Look, this is a Cancer card. I say Cancer and they came out. <laughs> and Scorpio, look. Seven of Cups, Scorpio. Four of Cups is a Cancer card, okay? So, um, and they could be a can Cancer Moon. Four of Cups is a Moon card. Um, um, well, yeah, and this deep replenishment card as a moon, so yeah. Um, oh, just the moon, Cancer Moon, Cancer is the moon, okay, okay, okay. So, the deep replenishment, Seven of Cups, and the Four of Cups. Like somebody wants to show you different, a different way of them, a different side of them that you have not seen before. Four of Cups is like, they're offering you a cup and maybe you didn't want to really take it before because somehow they're related to this first week where you're getting justice or causing this tower because of your work and this devil energy. Somebody with the devil energy or knows about the devil energy. Yes, yeah, like they know about the devil energy. And so, because they told you or something by week two or in week one about who is causing this devil energy on you. Um, you look at them like, mm, I don't really know, but the Empress, but they see you like this, okay? You can have, I'm getting Libra and Taurus with the Empress card. You can have a Libra and or Taurus in your chart. Um, but they see you as the Empress and they want to give you, give you what they want to give you. They want to. show you a different part of them and show you that this devil energy is not them or that because it's somehow they know about this this devil energy because somehow they were intertwined or something something i don't know something like that uh week three star seed would light to you up Queen of Wands, okay. Mm. You're going to be strong in your energy. Be strong in your energy to go after the things that you need, need and want to do out here. Seven of Pentacles, yeah, want to do need to do uh oh. queen of pentacles so you can be in the energy that you need to be in okay it's like whatever is revealed or something in the first week this person is trying to basically make up for it in the second week and then the third week is like, maybe because they, even though you're still in this strong energy, maybe you make a decision to say, okay, I'll work on this because they have shown that they see you not only in the Empress energy, but in Queen of Pentacles energy. And so because they're showing you throughout the month that they see your value, they see your worth, they hold you to a high esteem, whatever. It's 
something like that, you know, you're gonna start to look at the situation different or whatever and be like, okay, okay, okay. I'll start to allow you in or something like that. Because in a way they light you up mm -hmm. and you know that or something. Uh, even though you have this strong queen of wands energy and you're trying to not push it back, but in a way push back from them or, or hold that energy to be like, no, you were part of whatever you did, whatever or whatever. And so no, no, but you're going to take the next step and do what you need to do because I'm looking at 234 right now and 1034. So, yeah, you're going to accept them in by week three. Okay. The moon, a cancer card, okay. Um, it's a lot of moon energy or whatever in here. Um, so, yeah, by week three or week four, break the chain ancestral patterns healing rewriting the future with the moon um this person with the cancer or this cancer or whatever is being revealed or you would have gotten a full revealing by the end of the month of like how to move forward how to move forward and heal from whatever is happening in week one. Mm -hmm. Or has happened, is happening, whatever, in week one. And you're like going forward now, the hangman. You had time to think about it, uh, yeah. With the moon and the hangman, yeah. You had time, or in the week four, you're, it's like the divine is giving you time to think about, to think about what happened throughout the month or something. Especially related to what this person brought you as far as information related to a situation that they know about with this devil energy and think about how they showed you that they value you and that you were able to let them in. And so by the end of the month, you're gonna be thinking about all that. because you're you have rewritten the future basically five of cups yeah you have left whatever whatever you needed to leave behind is being left behind you broke broke the chain you know you broke the chain and now you're moving forward yeah you're moving forward you're just gonna be thinking about this by the end of the month Mm -hmm. And this is a Scorpio card. Uh, five of Swords, an Aquarius card. Uh, overall, Aquarius or Five of Swords, you are. Yeah, it's like you're. You're going to be a little defensive or a lot of defensive in a way in a way until like the end of the month or like third week because you like looking at this person or people or whatever like I don't know about you I don't know about you because whatever is revealed in week one but they are going to work on it like that's what it looks like like they're gonna work on it and show you show you different oh my gosh I was trying to avoid that. <laughs> if you heard it, oh well. I can't stop shit. 
the divine be talking in different ways. Okay, can't stop me, boo. <laughs> can't stop me, boo. Um, can't stop me, boo, at the beginning of the month. Yeah, because you're getting your justice. You're getting your justice. And it's a lovely day out here. Yeah, so whatever people were trying to stop you from doing and from your life aligning, it's like you saying, can't stop me booing, causing this tower because you getting your justice. Like, yeah. Moon and stars, Cancer and Aquarius. Okay. Yeah, because it was revealed who you are. Maybe this person, maybe this person is also causing a tower for you because they're telling you about this devil energy with the moon. Because you're a star, because of what you do out here with the Three of Pentacles. And so they're also going to be telling you about how you're going to get justice or how they're gonna help you get justice, something like that. Um, okay, week two. Uh, calm down. Yeah. Rest, retreat, be held. Like this person, because of whatever information that they have brought you about your work, who you are, all that, the devil energy, who's trying to stop you or whatever, they're going to be, they're going to be trying to get you to calm down. Calm down. Yeah, calm down. And so they're going to be offering you options or like things. Maybe you take you on a date or dates of things like that. And you still going to be, you going to be like, you know, like I'll take the free food. No, <laughs> I mean, but a little bit, kind of five. Yeah. They trying to make a change. Show you different. They're trying. Week two. Watch something funny. Yeah. Just watch how basically week two, you're going to be watching how they show you a new different side of them. Yeah. You don't have any cards out here, Pisces. Like, maybe you'll come up if I pull some more tarot, but you're not out here. So it's like, it's like somebody is going to be giving, yeah, somebody going to be giving you information and then they're going to be working to uh, get on your good side. I was about to say again, so again, and then, well, yeah. <laughs> Week three, you you gon' still be in that energy with the Queen of Wands, like you got me fucked up, based on this information from week one. They could be a Gemini, or oh. yeah, um, or have Gemini somewhere in their chart. Fuck them people. What lied to you up? You got me fucked up. Gemini fucked them people. Queen of Wands. Seven of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Maybe you're gonna be telling some people you got me fucked up. And you're gonna be in this Queen of Wands energy. And you're going to be 
showing them that you have high value and maybe they weren't trying to see it before or something. Uh, week four, block. So break the chain, the moon. Yeah, the divine is going to place like a little block on you or something. So that way you can think about by the end of the month, everything that happened throughout the month. And you're gonna you're gonna be thinking about how or know that everything is for a reason by the end. It's gonna be revealed. Did that, yeah, and also how you took action, or not you, how this person or these this person took action. took action to show you different throughout the month or something. Leo came out. Mm -hmm. The Gemini and the Leo, there's no Gemini cards out or Leo cards, so I don't know. Maybe this person has Leo and Gemini in their chart too. along with Cancer, Capricorn. Cancer, Capricorn. And Scorpio. They can have those placements. Okay. Um. Okay, so with this Five of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. Um, it's like by the end of the month or something, you're going to be, because you expressed your value or you show people like I'm worthy, <laughs> not worthy, but I'm, worth a lot or something like that in week three for sure it's like people are going to give you it's like you're going to be sitting good like money wise because of this tower because of this tower and you getting justice and so you're going to have money a decent amount of money coming towards you like a lot of money coming towards you nine is big big money yeah and you're going to be just be able to enjoy enjoy your life from then on and so that's probably also what you're going to be thinking about at the end like you were able to change a whole bunch of stuff like rewrite the future you're able to now rewrite the future because of this money or something Ten of Swords, this is a Gemini card, uh, because everything is now back there. Like, you went through, you understand, like, by the end of the month, you're going to understand what you went through, how you went through, what people did to you, all of that. But it's also like the sun is there, and you're looking at the sun, and, oh, now Gemini pop up. Okay, I see. Because I'm like, what? Yeah. Maybe you have Gemini in your chart. Um, yeah, and because you have Gemini in your chart, yeah, you're going to understand week three or something that who, who had you fucked up? And then how... Well, who had you fucked up? And then you're able to say, fuck them people. Because you know who had you fucked up. Mm -hmm. And then Seven of Wands, you were able to defend that shit. And this is the Leo card. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You're able to defend that shit. Because they got you fucked up. And it's like you're on defense. 
Yeah, I said something like that. You on defense mostly like the whole month until like the end of the month. Mm -hmm. Because people got you fucked up. Judgment. You're calling judgment. You're going to call judgment on some people who you need to call judgment on. And then that's going to help you change your whole world. Be you calling judgment, you calling this tower out, you saying, I need my justice, is like uh, forcing your world to change. And this is being revealed to you. The things to say, the things to do, all of that is being revealed to you. Mm. Um, you could also have Virgo in your chart. Virgo. Um, the Hierophant, okay. Yeah, and the Divine is making sure that you know what you need to do how you need to do it. So you can six of swords go about that shit. This is an Aquarius card. And now a Gemini card, eight of swords, so you don't be confused out here no more about whatever was going on. Week one. Yeah, ace of wands, you getting that information. You're going to be able to not only get that information, but do something with it. Once you get it, once this person comes to reveal, could possibly a cancer, a cancer or cancer with Aquarius or something, I don't know, coming to reveal to you about this devil energy. Knight of Pentacles, yeah, they're going to be on the way bringing you this information, telling you what's up, and also telling you about how. They want to show you a different a different way of them. And in the back, King of Pentacles. So by the end of the month, this was in a Taurus reading. Yeah, and it was about a cancer or something. And then in Aquarius reading, <laughs> same thing, the cancer brought information it's definitely a cancer okay they got cancer and they got gemini they got uh i can't remember what else i said aquarius okay this person uh king of pentacles they're going to by the end of the month you're going to see them in this energy and not in I don't even know what other energy that was, but you're going to see them as a valuable person and somebody that you can trust and feel that is there for you. And so they would have helped to heal whatever you needed to heal with them and then rewrote the future from then on. And look, I can dance, 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 dance all night, okay? Nobody else got this this month. Y'all like the only ones. Wow, Pisces. Okay. Well, shit. I mean, all month, it's like you're going to be even though you're going to be finding out some information or whatever week one. And it's like this person coming in is going to really try to make you feel like well loved just came to me. So like you're loved. Okay. And so it's just like for you because still no Pisces cards came out. So it's just like you just got to wait and see. Just just see what happens. And it's like, you're going to see like, you're going to be dancing, 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 dancing. That just got real sexual to me. Okay. <laughs> I mean, 
I feel like I saw Ace of Wands somewhere. <laughs> and Ace of Wands is definitely like a, it can be, if you, sometimes it comes up like that, where it's like, you know, the wand. Mm -hmm. And I can dance, 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 dance all night. It's like, not just dancing, but you know, dancing <laughs> on the wand. Okay. <laughs> but yeah. So, you know, maybe that's also a way that they're going to get you to calm down. Okay. And to forget about this energy or whatever happened in week one that they're bring whatever information that they're bringing you telling you whatever you know that could be a way for them to get you to calm down yeah you know but it's like you still okay i see yeah that's week two and then week three is like because of they they revealed this information in week one by week three you're able to call out the people that you need to about whatever they were, this cancer person revealed to you at the beginning of the month. And you're calling them out. The, not the cancer, but the people. Whoever the people are. And that's, so that way you can be lit up. And you gonna tell them you got me fucked up. And be like, fuck them people. Fuck them people. And then by the end of the month, it's like you did that. And you know that everything is for a reason. And you can leave. It's like you can move forward now with the cancer. That's it, yeah. You can move forward now with the cancer because whoever was trying to stop, it's almost like, I mean, in a way, maybe somebody or people were trying to stop you and this cancer from being together or something. Something like that. Uh, uh, what's this? Trust your past. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? So this is the overall for the month. So it's like, yeah, because you don't have any cards out here. So it's just like, whatever you're doing, you're doing it. And you're supposed to do it, Pisces. I mean, you got where you're being called to journey to at the beginning. And then trust your path back here. So it's like, you're doing what you need to do. Like, you don't have to worry about anything because it's like, people are bringing you information. People are trying to show you a different way of, of them. Week three, you're, you're going to be like, telling them fuck them people. But I also feel like this person with this Gemini or something, or maybe that's still you. I don't know, you might have some help or something. Maybe, week three. I don't know. But you're going to have to tell people about, like I'm highly valuable hoes and y'all got me fucked up. Week three. And so that's what you have to do week three. And then week four is like, the divine is, Allowing you to take time to think about what happened throughout the month and then also fully accept this cancer and and move forward. So yeah, it's like somehow week three, some people were trying to stop you. I mean, stop things related to the, your career, but it's also like they were maybe been trying to stop your love as well. And so by the end of the month, you're gonna have everything that you need, that you deserve, need and deserve. What? And then you can take care of yourself in the way that you need to. Why are these cards? What? Well, how can you mother yourself? This whole month, you should Focus on taking care of yourself, basically, and following your path. Keep facing your true north. Don't overthink it. You're already doing it. Whatever you're doing, you're already doing it. Yeah. 
And then this uh, cancer person or whatever just needs to hurry up and bring you what they need to bring you. Tell you whatever they need to tell you, basically. Whatever, show you who they, who they are, basically. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, I think that's all Pisces. I hope that this helps you. I thank you for coming through. It was cool. This was pretty chill. Um, so I'm not gonna say it's lit. <laughs> it was lit, but it was pretty chill. So it was cool. Um, I thank you for coming through. I said that again. I don't know. Um, <laughs> remember, nigga is for niggas. Check the description box. Bye, y'all. Protect our family.